Championship Fighting is hosting their Veterans Day salute in, uh, tomorrow. And joining me now are Russ Jones and Chase Maurer. Thank you so much for joining me. First of all, Chase, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Appreciate it. And you, um, obviously, you're a veteran, and you're fighting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Oh, I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for a while, and when Jess or uh, Russ hit me up and offered me the slot to fight, I couldn't turn it down. Basically, this is this is your fight. This is an event for for you. Yeah, it's very exciting to have something like this going on. And um, Russ, you were telling me that you actually have a few veterans that are fighting tomorrow. Yeah, Taylor McKeeman's in the co-main event. He is uh, an act active National Guardsman. And then Chase, he served from 2007 to 2014, did a tour in Afghanistan. And so it's pretty cool that we have a couple of veterans actually fighting in the, in the show. And he's just going to be, these two are just going to be one of many that will be in attendance tomorrow. The veterans, yeah, well, I, you know, we could, have, we could have a lot of veterans tomorrow. We, we have well over 100 already. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting. The energy is going to be insane. It's going to be a great night. Perfect. And how many um, cards do you have? We have 14 fights, uh, if that's what you're asking. Yep. And uh, yeah, we have 14 fights. Uh, like 12 of the guys are local. So it's going to be pretty, uh, the energy just from the crowd for the, the fighters is going to be pretty insane as well. Um, let me ask you this. So in the past, have you always had veterans fighting for this event? And is that how this event came to be too? Or it, was, it just happened that that as they were coming up and you had people wanting to train and participate in this event, that but, they happen to be veterans. Yeah, that, it's more like that. I mean, I, what I learned early on is most veterans like MMA fights. And so when, when we decided to do the salute to veterans, you know, like I said when I was on the other day, it, it was slow going at first. But once they get exposed to it in a live format, they're not, they're not, not going to come back. I mean, they're going to come back and enjoy the night. So. It's, uh, it's just, it just happens to be that uh, we have some veterans on the card. We've had veterans before on the card, but it's highlighted more now because of all the veterans that are in the crowd. Perfect. And so how long have you been training, Chase? Uh, I've been going about six and a half months now. Wow. Just okay. for this fight. He went from 205 to 155. Oh, my. Wow. That's yeah. quite Maybe I should uh, fight. rough. <laughs> What's that? That's kind of rough to the body. It is. It's very rough. I used to do uh, a lot of weight cutting back when I was in high school wrestling. So I kind of knew what to do, but to drop that 50 pounds to get down where I wanted to be was probably one of my biggest goals that I hit. Wow. He weighs in in an hour, and then he eats, so he's, he's really hungry right now. <laughs> okay, all right, so the event starts at what? 4.30. 4.30. The fights start at 6. The vet salute is at, uh, at 7.30, and then we're honoring uh, four. I've had four sponsors that have been with me for a decade, um, and we're going to honor them between the co-main and main event. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. And uh, here's Mr. Food's Kitchen.